Supreme Court decision that we hate to agree with. Today on the Atheist Viewpoint, protesting at a funeral. Hello and welcome to Atheist Viewpoint. I'm David Silverman. And I'm Dennis Horvitz. And I'm Ron Barrier. Welcome back again, Ron. Uh, today we're going to talk with Ron and Dennis about uh, the Supreme Court decision that we hate to agree with. Um, the Supreme Court uh, basically ruled uh, not too, just a few days ago actually, yeah. that the hate group, the Westboro Baptist Church, who protest, you know, they're best known for there's their God hates fags signs and mm -hmm. and taking any any uh, uh, religion any, any religious basis that they can to hate anybody yeah um, and protesting at funerals they protested at the funeral for this fallen soldier of soldiers who defend the country yeah yeah and their and their statement is that it's that God is all good and God hates us all. And so when he kills us, when he kills our soldiers, when mm -hmm. he kills American soldiers, because of course God is American. Right. When he kills American soldiers, it's because we have gays. Right. For right. Yes, yes, yes. It's because we have uh, gay rights. It's because the we homosexual have agenda. Right. It's because of all of that. Atheism. And, and and these these scum. Yes. These scum. These hate mongers. They protest at funerals because of their hate and because of their anger and because of their their ignorance their ignorance and unfortunately uh, but fortunately the Supreme Court has ruled that they do in fact have the right to protest outside of funerals on public land with permits right now now this lawsuit was brought by the father of a soldier who had died uh, in the Mideast uh, conflict and uh, you know they uh, they, they protested at the funeral uh, for the reasons that, as Dave just outlined. But the one thing that they had going for them is that they obeyed the law or the local statutes of where to protest. Right. There's a certain. You know, uh, you know they, they, they were given guidelines by the police department, whatnot. Right. They followed those guidelines. Yeah. Right. Okay. So technically, they did not break a law. And their speech is hateful. But again, it's protected. It's protected. Many uh, religious organizations and religious people think atheist speech uh, may be helpful, ha hateful when we criticize religion. Uh, I would not put that in the same c category. We are criticizing religious precepts. We are not wishing for people to die. Do you know that uh, Fred Phelps, most of his adult offspring are actually attorneys themselves? I, I, I could buy that. I mean, it's, it's such a small little um, inbred group, I guess, so to speak. Well, what well, I, mean, what not, I mean is they so know what they're... Inbred, pardon? But it's not so much inbred. I mean, we had um, Nate Phelps, uh, his right. son, his, his estranged son, came to our convention a couple of years ago in Atlanta, and he was fantastic. He was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I did fantastic. an interview with he's, him for uh, APC Point. Mm -hmm. um, but... You're talking about serious damage here. You're, so, you're talking about serious child abuse, serious mental and physical child abuse. I, I, yes. Uh, In fact, Dennis, before we went on, you brought up the movie uh, Jesus Camp. Yes. Which you could actually equate with this uh, Westboro Baptist Church. If anybody saw the film Jesus Camp. Mm -hmm. a uh, real, that's a real horror movie. That, yeah. That's, that's a not real Roger Corman. Film. That's real. But the Supreme Court, court ruled 8 to 1. Uh, who was it, Samuel Alito that uh, disagreed? Yes. Okay. I, I disagree with him, but eight to one that their speech is protected. And yep. that is good for everyone. Right. For you out there, for all of us, it is good for everything. That's one of the bulwarks of our society. That's right. Uh, is the ability to stand up on a soapbox and espouse your opinions. And mm -hmm. The measure of the democracy <coughs> is the degree to which you will tolerate unpopular opinions. Right, mm -hmm. right. And, and, and you know, it, I hate it, okay? I hate the fact that we're having this show, having this discussion, saying, yes, the Westboro Baptist Church was right, but they were. 
Uh, well, and they were, when it comes they, right down to it, the, the, the answer... I don't know this, if they're right, but they have the right. They, they have, have the right. The right. Yeah, yeah. They have the right. The, the answer to freedom of speech is not squelching speech, it's more speech. More, more freedom of speech. Right? It's right. more freedom. You know, letting us have this show to talk about what pieces of crap these guys at Westboro Baptist are for protesting at a funeral. Uh, Maybe that's, we should call them Westboro Craptists as opposed to Westboro. Westboro <laughs> I like that. Craptists. That's their new name, Westboro Craptists. But, but we really should. So we, they, we shouldn't okay. lump all, uh, m as much as we may disagree with Baptists, we shouldn't lump them all in with these lunatics. No. No, no. no. There are different types of Baptists. In fact, during my little uh, j uh, journey that we talked about, I, I went to, uh, I attended a Pentecost church, Pentecostal, which mm -hmm. scared the living daylights out of me. I ran out of there. Uh, a couple of Baptist church also. And uh, all ran out of there because they all talk nonsense. But this is, a, this is a Supreme Court decision that we should all value. Yes. It protects the right of every American citizen to be able to express yourself without fear of government censorship or repercussion. And it protects people like them from people like us. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it protects people like us from people like us. And, you know, and, and as I, I mentioned earlier, in between shows, uh, a, a number of years ago, American atheists protested uh, the visit of the Pope, mm -hmm. right. the uh, Roman Catholic uh, Pope, the big man, the big boss man to uh, uh, New York City at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Right. And we were in the middle of a sea of maybe a million Catholics or so. But had the court ruled in another way, we couldn't do that. We couldn't have been there. That's correct. And I was with the New York City atheist contingent. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the, the scary thing is, and, and frankly it is scary, is that Justice Alito disagreed. I don't know what was in his head, but in, in my opinion, as a layperson, as a non-attorney, this is a very clean-cut case. I thought so, too. Yeah. I mean, when, it, yeah. when I first heard it was going to the Supreme Court, I, 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 I said, for two reasons. Number one, first of all, it's a church. They're never going to squelch the, pe the speech of the church. Right. Uh, we, that's, we, but that's my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but number two, if you protect the speech you don't like or speech you loathe, you protect your right to That's free right. speech. So on those two things, I, thought, I didn't know it was going to be as unanimous as it was, but it was. But I thought it was going to be, I, I, I thought it was going to be a unanimous you decision. Did. Okay. I did, and, and, I, and I wonder why, you know, where Alito's head was when he actually said, you know, these guys should somehow lose after obeying the law and saying things. These guys didn't break any laws. They no. didn't, they didn't, they didn't, yeah, they were hateful, but the American Nazi Party is hateful. The Ku Klux Klan is hateful. The Southern Baptist Convention is hateful. The Catholic Church is hateful. Oh, yeah. And if you ask them, we're hateful. ACLJ, Concerned the, Women for America, Pat you go on and on. Pat Robertson. Um, you know, uh, I mean, here's a dope Glenn who, who just talked about weather-related uh, items and homosexuals also. Glenn Beck just, just talked about God sending the tsunami to Japan. It, it, it's, that's hate speech, in my opinion. Yep. But in his opinion, it's not. Right. Um, and, and in and his case, it's rewarded. Yeah. Handsomely. But, yeah, very, very handsomely. Mm -hmm. so, so I, I don't quite understand where Alito is sitting on this. We, it must be possible to get a, a, a copy of his opinion. Oh, it is. It is. And, and, and this, this, it just scares me a little bit. You know, the makeup of the, of the Supreme Court um, should show some, some in, in my opinion, unanimity in the clear and cut cases. That, yeah, I, I honestly, yeah, you're, you're right there. And then if they went eight to one, they should have probably went nine nothing. I mean, even at American Atheist Conventions, we had people who would come up and protest Outside the hotel. Of course, right. we, had, right. we, we had. We would ram. invite them in. Of course, we did. <laughs> you know, if if you we had a, a regional, we had a ram, a regional atheist meeting in Huntsville, Alabama, mm -hmm. a couple of months ago. We had protesters outside. I went out and said hello. Yeah, they were all right. We protest them. They protest us. It's all good. Yeah, you know, it's right. freedom of speech. This That's is what this is part of what America right. is. They protest us. That's fine. You know, they're humans. And there's also this additional strategic position. It's much better to have them out there where we can see them. Oh yes, you know. Keep, yeah, keep but your, keep your enemy close to your vest. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, protesting is really uh, one of the hearts of America's freedoms. Right. Okay. The, right the, the ability to protest. Right. Um, and and I'm, I'm I'm unhappy that Westboro Baptist Church exists. 
I'm unhappy with everything that they do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm happy with their message and their means and their methods, but they do have the right to all of those, and right, they are right. legal. And all they do is speak. And right. all they do is speak. They do not abuse children. Well, they do not. Uh, they don't. They don't starve their children to death. No. I, I think Fred Phelps could be questioned as a as right. a father, but as a church, no. As a as you know, they're they're not starving their kids to death. They're not um, ignoring their kids' health by withholding medicine. Um, uh, they're not uh, marrying their kids to other right. children. You know what Alito's missing? Mm -hmm. He's missing the fact that if you 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 try to squelch or make this type of speech illegal, the frustration that would result from that type of suppression will manifest itself in another way that may not be as attractive as just speech. Right, right, right. right. See, their, 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 their speech angers me, but taking their freedom of speech ter away terrifies me. Ah, you know, good that's point. That's a great point, Dennis, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, yes, as American atheists, uh, we do support the right of all groups to protest, and right. you can protest us. Right. No biggie. That's right. what that's what make that's what makes our country different than the others. Right. You know? Hopefully, they'll just not protest much. Well, <laughs> well, actually, no. I, I, I don't mind the protesters at all. They'll fade away. I, I, they'll I, fade I, I kind of like the whole. Uh, I mean, the the over the top protesters. I find them to be a source of amusement. You know, when we go out there, they are cartoonish. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. with their big monstrous signs and their Jesus on the cross, and they 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 they're handing out uh, tracks, the the stereotypical chick tracks. Uh, the highly about, amusing. It is. <laughs> I mean, it is. You know, when you when and you have the perspective that we have of religion, yes, they're. Eh, Clowns. Now, I'll tell you uh, uh, a little bit of talking about free speech. Um, we have a convention coming up in Des Moines. And for this convention, we're putting up five billboards in Des Moines. Okay? Right. The five billboards say, you know there is no God. We know you're right. Okay? <laughs> that, that's what it says. You know there is no God. We know you're right. Now, it doesn't say your God is an idiot. You're, you're stupid for believing in a God. Right. Which, by the way... You kind of are. Uh, it doesn't well, say <laughs> you know what foolish. It is. Foolish is the better word. Uh, it doesn't say your God is uh, a, a barbar. Your your religion is barbaric, uh, which by the way it is. No. Um, it says you know there is no God, and we know you're right. And the reason that I bring this up is that we took this to the first billboard company, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to trash the billboard company um, because they made the business decision. But what they said to us was. Des Moines is a Christian city, and they refused that billboard. Really? Yeah, and we had to go to a different billboard company to put up our billboards because the first billboard company, now this is not a separation of church and state issue, they're a private company. There's no such thing as a Christian city. No, there is no such no. thing as a Christian city. Not no. legally. No, no in fact, there, there, are, there are no Christian cities anywhere in this, in this country, uh, no Christian cities. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for them to say it, uh, propagates the bigotry. Yeah. It supports the bigotry. It 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 um, well, they were puts the word on the board. Legitimizes the the hateful the, the 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 hatred and the bigotry. Well, they were thinking in terms of demographics, obviously. Yes, of course they were thinking in terms of demographics, but also they they, they were also thinking in terms of money. Of course, because they may not they, they may have a client base that may find would that evaporate basically that, <laughs> that that may be offended by that and they don't want to lose their client base that's right yeah you know yeah. so it's a business decision yeah right. has nothing to do with i mean with christian city what was it there wasn't there a survey late last year but or early this year about the holiest city is in america i'll have to dig that up and bring it up the, the most religious city in america is coral, coral springs colorado well, was it colorado, colorado springs. springs yeah colorado springs because yeah. uh because uh, oh I, I, yeah i mean that's where all the mega churches are yeah. i think because uh, yeah. Wichita, Kansas was considered, like, I think one of the top two. Yeah. Oh, and Oklahoma City was in the top two, yeah. top three. Yeah, I, I got uh, And Oklahoma City is what? Timothy McVeigh and the explosion of the federal building. Yeah. Right. And Wichita, Kansas, where Randall Terry and his band of mindless thugs uh, induced and uh, terrified enough people that uh, Dr. George Tiller was shot and murdered. Yeah, that's right. You know, so if this is Christian how they love. would def defend holy cities, I'd rather not live there. Well, 
Holy cities, no. Unless it's bullet, <laughs> I guess it's bullet holes. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what they mean. Bullet holes, <laughs> bullet holy city. Yeah. yeah, because I'm sure those are very big gun, gun cultures over there too. Oh, yeah. yeah, but and we, we don't want to trash guns. I'm a per personally, I'm a gun owner myself. But no, I'm not trashing guns. It's people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, so we almost had our speech squelched ourselves in Des Moines, uh, and the alternative that we were proposing to this billboard company, uh, I proposed maybe half a dozen different alternatives. Some of them were just downright sweet, like um, American Humanist Association type billboards. Mm -hmm. They didn't like those either. Uh, they wanted they wanted it to be, I could put on American Atheist National Convention here in Des Moines, Iowa, 21st, 24th. Mm -hmm. That's it. I no wonder, slogan. I wonder, no catch, I no I wonder if, if Des Moines, Iowa, they have like billboards that uh, uh, feature large-breasted women or, or something like that. I guess that would be okay in a Christian city. Yeah, porn is fine. You know, porn, yeah, strip clubs. They'll, yeah, they'll yeah, advertise, lots of strip you know, clubs. they'll lots they'll, of strip clubs, right. lots of porn. Uh, yeah, well, strip, well, strip clubs, they're mainstay, like in the South, Midwest, all through up there. Like, it's truckers and all them guys. Well, I'm going to go to Des Moines, so I'll, I'll let you know. We'll are find you, are out. you coming to Des Moines? No, I won't be coming to Des Moines. I mean, you should be coming to Des Moines, man. It's going to be a good convention. I'm sure it will be. It I first of all, I like, to, I like to see Hitchens. I mean, We uh, are on track to be the largest atheist convention, American atheist convention yet. In fact, to me, it was a, uh, Christopher Hitchens there is worth the price of admission. Just so you can see how an atheist deals with mortality. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And that's a main difference between believers and non-believers. We can deal with our mortality. Non-believers cannot. That's why they have to make up these stories that they're going to uh, some other uh, uh, zip code where things will be better. Well, non-believers actually don't believe in mortality. I'm sorry, believers don't believe in mortality. They don't believe in death, human death. They believe that human death isn't death, that human death is just corporeal death, and that there's a spiritual immortality. They literally don't believe in death. But they mm. all are afraid to die. But they're oh, all yeah. afraid to die. Absolutely. That's because I, I actually knew somebody who wrote a song called Everybody Wants to Get to Heaven, but We're All Afraid to Die. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to die. That's what no. it is. Nobody wants to and die. Nobody and nobody wants. Not funerals, even atheists want to die. At the die. funerals, yeah. the tears come out because they know they're dead. And they say to themselves over and over, always oh, in heaven, always oh, in heaven. Mm -hmm. But the tears are streaming down. If they actually believed that somebody was in heaven, they should be celebrating. Oh, they should be. Uh, well, actually, some do, actually. I, I think in New Orleans, for instance, amongst well, the black community. The that's a celebration of life. That's not a celebration that they're going to heaven. Well, that's what a funeral should be, though, a celebration of the person's life. Well, yeah. I, I've yeah. been to funerals where the yeah. people's lives are celebrated. Right. Yeah. But, but a you, lot of them are solemn, you, maudlin, well, you know, yes, yeah, yeah, you know, and we're not being insensitive. Uh, you've had a loss, somebody you've been it's, with. Yeah, it's, it's a way of dealing with grief. I have shed tears over losing a pet. Yes. You know. Your cat was awesome. It, it, you know, it, I remember your cat. What was his name? <coughs> I've had a lot of them. The cool <laughs> one that I liked. Uh, 10 or 12 years ago, I don't mm. know if that was Petey, the big brown, uh, the big brown uh, yeah. snowshoe. I had Norton, who was a great guy. I think it was, I think it was Norton. I know, no, know. maybe it wasn't Norton. It was, it was probably. Yeah, I think it was Petey. He right. was just a. He was a great. Candidate. Well, and that's pussy footing around. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, bum. but but you know, yes, you you do mourn your loss. Right. Yeah. It, it is. A loss. Are, it's a. It's closure. It's a way of coming to terms. Right. 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 So that's that's fine. I guess that that that's part of it. I guess that makes sense. But uh, nobody is 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 happy for the departed. They're not. They're sad. Uh, e or and, and they're 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 very very sad for it and, and yeah, it should be because it's death and death sucks. It's painful. So yeah. sometimes I used to think ironically that I know where they're crying. They're crying because that person's problems have ended. Theirs are continuing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, they're right about that though. No, and it's compounded. And it's, compounded. Uh, but you know, again, uh, again, this is a somber time. Also, we we uh, uh, and you referred to in the last show. We have Japan. Right. Right. Uh, what was it? Five years ago, we had Indonesia. With the right. tsunami that took a tsunami that took out a quarter million people from right. that entire area around there, yeah. uh, you know, loss is tragic. Yeah, and, and I disasters guess. are disasters. And, yeah. And by the way, we advise our we we, we advise our viewers uh, that if you want to help the Japanese uh, disaster relief, uh, you can get non <coughs> non believers 
Um, non-believers giving aid. Non-believers giving yeah, aid. Yeah, you can get um, information on that at richarddawkins.net. They are going to funnel 100% of the money donated to Doctors Without Borders or the International Red Cross, secular charities that will help the homeless, not give them Bibles, but actually give them food and shelter. That's what uh, they need, we right? We are, once again, out of time. And uh, I wanted to thank you all for joining us at an, an American Atheist. American Atheist is America's uh, premier nonprofit organization by and for atheists. And uh, we've been around since 1963. And Ron, I'm so glad that you're back with us. Thank yes. you uh, thanks. It's been, it is a pleasure, really. Right. So for American Atheists, check us out. Don't forget to come to our convention. It's atheists.org slash Des Moines. The convention is April 21st to the 24th. We hope to see you there. I'm David Silverman. Dennis Corbett. And Ron Barrier. Thanks for joining us on American Atheist, where reason reigns and reality rules.